Hey guys, we're going to talk about how to add and subtract logs. So if I am given a log with the same base, and that's important, they have to match, so this two on the bottom, okay? Adding logs is the same as multiplying the insides. So then I would distribute, and I have log two, x squared minus 7x is equal to 3. If this was super easy to plug into my calculator, I would do so at this point. But since this is x's, this is the same as the log of my answer is equal to the log of my base, and then is equal to my exponent. So this would be x squared minus 7x is equal to 8. And then from there, I would subtract 8 to the other side. So that it's set equal to 0. I would plug into my quadratic formula or see if I could factor. And then I would set each one equal to 0. So this means that x could be negative 8 or 1 back here to get me to 3. Okay. If addition means multiplication, that means subtraction means division. So this means if they match, then I can combine them. Okay. And then it is going to be natural log, and then the first term goes in my numerator, and my second term goes in my denominator, okay? Then I'm going to divide both sides by natural log. This will make them cancel, and I'm left with x plus 2, and then 4x plus 3 is equal to 1x, okay? I am going to cross multiply, and then I have x squared plus 2x is equal to 4x plus 3. Then I'm going to, same thing, subtract everything so it's all on the same side of the equal sign. And then I'm going to say, can I factor that? So I have x plus 3 and x minus 1, because 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, but added gets me to positive 2. So now I know that one didn't work. So I would erase, erase, and then negative 3 and positive 1 gets me to negative 3, but subtracting gets me to negative 2. Now I'm going to set each one equal to 0. So x is equal to 3, or x is equal to negative 1. And then the last thing that they can do is they can put a 2 times log. 2 times log is the same as log squared. So whatever this number is in front, we can put it as the exponent inside the log, and it's the same value. And why this was useful is we have log in front, log in front. Now I have x squared is equal to 3, and then I would square root both sides, and I have x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 3. If you have any questions, feel free to email me.